Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be remaking my white angry bird. Let's get started. What you're going to need is black wool, dark grey, white, pink, light blue, yellow, and orange. I know that's quite a few colours, but that is pretty much everything. Is that... Yeah, that's everything. Right, so this is the biggest of the angry birds, I think. Probably. It looks the biggest. I've no idea what he does in game, but he looks like a giant egg. Maybe he uh, makes omelettes for the pigs. So what? I'm just... I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, this is the right. I was trying to figure out what row I was building on. And, uh, you know, since, uh, since I've got a statue there, it's kind of hard. But I started building on the front row. So, uh, let's, let's get started. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to start with 14 row... Ah, uh, 14 black blocks on the floor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like that. And we're going to build the outline half of it, then the other half, like half clockwise, half anti clockwise. Fill in some features and color it in. This is the format. <clears throat> so, what you want to do is you want to start from the left side here, and you want to do an up left diagonal. One block to the left. Then you want to proceed to do three up left diagonals. One, two, three. And then you're gonna to want to do one more. I, I should have said four, I suppose. So you want to you want to have, you know, the double and then four up left diagonals. But on top of the four foot left, you just want to do two black blocks on top going up. <clears throat> and then you wanna do another up left diagonal. And you wanna go up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you should be left with that. So just to reiterate, pause where you need to of course. You've got the double, three singles, then you start going up. You went up by two, but it's a total of three. Then you did an up left diagonal, built up by seven, but that row is a total of eight though. So going back to here, we're going to continue until we reach the top of the head. You want to do an upright diagonal. One on top. Three upright diagonals. One, two, three. Then you're going to want to go up one, right one, and then up one. And now you want to do an upright diagonal. And you want to go to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And then you just want to come down two. And then you want to do a bottom left diagonal. And again, come to the left one. Then you want to do another up left diagonal. And you kind of want to, well, that's part of his eye. I should have mentioned that this isn't, well, his eye is technically part of the outline, the outer eye, but I wanted to make it here and now. <clears throat> so that that's what you've made from like the long stick. I'm gonna go and get some water when it, when it, uh, when night falls. But that's what you want to have. And uh, there's just a little bit more as well. Um, on this double here, you just want to do a bottom left diagonal from the left block. The bird's crying. He's unhappy. He doesn't like his life. He just wants to go the road of Humpty Dumpty. Right. So, the outline continues on top of the eye here. And it continues on top of this block. So, like, one block in, coming from the left. And you just want to do two... Two block box there. On top of the right one, you just want to go up one, right one, up one, right one, and then you want to do an upright diagonal. And we're just about finished for this half. So you just want to have that. And then you want to proceed to do another upright diagonal, and then go to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And this is the whole upper half of it. Like that. Pause if you have to, and of course the lower half, which I showed you earlier, but just in case. There you go. <clears throat> and now what I like to do is I like to build like the reverse way around, so I'll start at the bottom right here, and bring it up to the top, which lets me know whether or not I've actually actually got the outline right. I'm a little close to Bayesian, but I right, whatever, doesn't matter. So, starting from here, you want to do an upright diagonal, right one. Upright diagonal, and again, up one, upright diagonal, up two, 
upright diagonal up by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here you go. So you've got the two, the one, the two, the three, and the nine. That's they're all totals, of course. So there you have it. Pause that if you have to. Now we've just got to make the little top bit, connect that together, make the eye, and we're good to go. So up left diagonal from here, up one, two, up left diagonals, like that. And you want to go to the left one, and then you want to go up by three. One, two, three. And then you want to go to the left by three. One, two, three. And on top of those three that you've just done, just uh, just throw another three on top. And extend one out to the left, so you've got four, and it's kind of like that. We'll put the eye in after we've connected the, the head, because we've got a little bit of eyebrow to make and all sorts of stuff. So... <clears throat> Uh, so just like with the other side one block away from the end this one on top of this row of four you just want to go up one and then you want to do two up left diagonals and on this last one you just want to go left one so it all connects together nicely like that I mean yeah yeah that's all of it so that's that part of the that part of the um, the right outline <clears throat> now I've just got a little bit of detailing to put into um, into that right eye, of course, other than just putting the right eye in itself. So, pause that if you have to. Um, you see where this comes out? With the black? You, um, this end block here, you just want to go up one and left one. And that's, uh, that's all the detailing you need to do for that, that's his eyebrow. And then you want to come down to here, and from this corner, you want to do two bottom left diagonals. One, two. And then you want to do two bottom right diagonals. One, two, and then you want to go two to the right. That's his eye there. Pause that if you have to. So uh, from here you just want to do a bottom right diagonal. Remember like on the other side where there's just that loose black block like that. And it's starting to get slightly dark. Um, the sun's coming down. so. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to cut it off, but I'm going to leave you like that. Maybe I should make Humpty Dumpty as a pixel. I've, I've already got enough enough projects. Um, so you're going to have that. Then we're going to make his beak, um, make his tail, make the tuft of feather on his head, and then just colour him in. It'll be nice and easy, so I'll be back short. Right then, let's get to work on this beak. So the beak, it starts over here. There is right eye. So you want to find this middle block here that kind of just sticks out. And you just want to do an up left diagonal. And you want to go two to the left. And then you want to do two bottom left diagonals. You want to do one and then the two. Then you want to go down one. Another bottom left diagonal. Down one. Another bottom left diagonal. And then you want to come down by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, you have that. Now what you want to do is, slightly tricky to explain, but you see this stick, you kind of want to just do black, like, next to it, but like, one up. So you, you kind of just want to make that shape with the bottom two blocks. I've not added any to that side. And then you just want to come down one from the row that you've, uh, you've just added on, and you want to come to the right by seven. Let me just make sure that number's correct. Yeah, seven. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bollocks. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made one of those. One of those mistakes. And then you want to do four upright diagonals. One, two, three, and four. And on top of the fourth, you just want to go up one. Then you want to do an up left diagonal. One on top. Up left diagonal, one on top. Then you just want to do an up left diagonal, which is equivalent to just putting one block there, so it kind of, um, kind of just like comes underneath his eye. I know I didn't really show like very like do the beak very slowly, but there you go. There's the beak. It's not too complicated. You should be able to make it from that, even if uh, even if you weren't following along. Uh, pause if you have to. 
and we're going to make a little, this a little bit more to the beat, just a bit. So, this 2x2 two two block of black here, you just want to do two upright diagonals from the from this corner here. There you go. Two. And then on top of the second one, you just want to do one on top, and then you just want to like, to the left of it, you just want to do black until it reaches this row of nine here. And to the right of it, you want to go right until it um, hits another black block block diagonally, like that. So you can see what I've done anyway. Pulse that if you have to. Right, so let's make uh, the tuft of his hair. So, we go to the top of the pixel art here. You just want to stack three black blocks up in the middle. And then on top of these right two here, just do black. Extend out by one on the right. Go up one here, right here. I'm not really trying to explain this very well. I'll, I'll just show you after I've made it. There's... It's not complicated, but it's complicated to explain, if you know what I mean. See, there's no more than three black blocks in a sequence. Pause that if you have to. Put that on. So, now, we've just got his little tail feathers to make. And let me zoom in on this on my computer to make sure. Get it right. Cool. So, it's on this left side here, just where it is on all of the all of the others. And you want to start one away from the bottom, so here. And then you just want to go up by three. So it just wants to be a total of four, like added on to um, to this right right uh, right row of black. And then I'm just going to kind of do the same thing that I just did there. I'd, I could explain it, but why bother when you can just... You'll be alright. I believe in you. There you go. Oh, maybe, maybe just one. Yeah, there we go. So that's what you want to have um, on the left here. Again, no, besides from the four there. Uh, nah, nah, you'll have no problems. You'll have no problems figuring that out. Like I said, I believe in you. So, pause that if you have to. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some color to this. Right. Uh, shall we start with the beak? Yeah, let's start with the beak. All right. So, um, these are these three little blocks here. These can just be filled in with white, like that. Um, there's a little bit of uh, color shading in the beak. Um, in fact, you know what? You know what might be easier and save a bit of time. Let me fill in the beak and then come back and then just zoom in on the beak. That should that should work nicely. Right, so that's all there is to the beak. Not very much at all. It's just got that little bit of white there. Then it's got a little bit of color blending um, with the yellow. But you should have no problem putting that in since all of the lines are already there. Then just add the orange and boom, hey presto. There you are. So now what I'm going to do is, in, this, in the same sort of vein, there's quite a lot of gray that needs to be added. But it's all around the outside. I'm not sure whether I should... You know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm going to um, I'm gonna be back once I've put the gray in. All right. So like I said, there had to be a lot of dark gray added in there. Um, I didn't think I'd it'd really benefit you me doing it along with you. Um, I'm not just gonna zoom out and leave it at that. Right. So uh, we're just gonna start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. So this is where the dark grey goes in with the top, and I feel the need to say this on every single pixel art where I have to colour it in this way. After you've got the lines in, and if there are some complicated colours to put in somewhere, I usually do it. But when it's just a lot of block colours like this, I just, I don't see the point. If I feel as though it's just like a waste of time, where, you know, with the lines, you can see exactly where it goes. It, no problems. I would hope. So that's the top part, and this is the bottom part. That's the whole bottom part. Like I said, it's mostly situated around um, the outside of the bird, so it, ma it makes it even simpler. Why, why waste like four minutes? So, there you go. Pause that if you have to. And I'll, I'll just give you a bit of a... Once again, there's all of it. 
pours out if necessary. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in um, pink and light blue. Right, so there's all but two colours left in this pixel art. That's the pink. Um, the bird's embarrassed. Who knows why. There's pink on the cheek. Again, with all of the outline that you have and such, you, you shouldn't have any problems with that. Pause that if necessary. Um, so, oh, the, the, only, the only two colours, white and uh, light blue. Let's put the light blue in and we'll also do the eyes. I'll do the eyes along with you. So, the eyes look like this. This is the left eye, just above the pink. Pause that if you have to. And this is the right eye. Let me... And there's the right eye. Pause that if you have to. They're not very big, are they? No problem. And this is everything you want to have. You want to have all of this before you move on to the next stage, obviously, imagine that you can see the, like, head feathers as well. So, once you're at this point, what you want to do is now fill everything else in with white. All of it. All of the little bits on, on the right there, everything, as long as it's in the lines, you want to be filling it with white. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to come back. Alright, so, once you've put all of the white in, that's exactly what the bird looks like. I think he looks pretty glorious. He's one of my favourite ones. So, if this was useful to you in any way, shape, or form, feel free to throw a like, maybe even a comment, who knows, subscribe, share, buy, whatever. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should check out some of my other stuff. I've made plenty of pixel art, YouTubers, houses, tomahawks, tanks, the list goes on. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTube partner, hit up the link in the description.